the Kanika Jenkins community, logic, facts, and fantasy are conflicted into three groups. Those who are curious about the case, those who provide facts, and those who mislead the public. This is my story. is the story about a YouTuber who provides facts. A rare few in the Kanika Jenkins community and those who seek out to destroy her reputation, sit back, have a drink, and let me tell you a story. Obsession is one of many behaviors we inherited, whether it's person, place, or things. We have one thing we're obsessed about. In the transit community, we're obsessed with our favorite subway line, favorite train, favorite subway station, and even female transit buffs. For everyday New Yorkers, this can be seen as weird, and to us in the community, it can be seen as annoying, but it's a thing. In the Kanika Jenkins community, however, obsession is a problem few of true crime YouTubers has a problem with. A certain YouTuber within the Kanika Jenkins community, her name is Chloe Olvera. Don't let that smile fool you. She's considered extremely dangerous and a threat to the community. She can shapeshift. She can command her subscribers to go on assignments to spy on the goofies. She knows my secret French toast recipe. Chloe also have the ability to listen in on police scanners. And she also owns a F-117 stealth fighter. She used her plane to travel to Chicago, did a drive-by, and made it back home to cook dinner, and do a live in under three hours. If you believe anything I just said, congratulations. You've just listened to a goofy. Chloe provides facts to not only Kanika Jenkins' case, but other cases as well. But for the Goofies, facts ruins their fantasy. Some became obsessed with her, and not in a good way. Edward Joseph, another YouTuber, who is also part of the Kanika Jenkins community, has a big problem with Chloe, or in his words, Casey Sanchez Medina Olvera. From what I gathered, these two were at the time worked together until a live stream gone bad that changed everything. Take a listen. A disclaimer, this segment is not suited for children, nor is not safe for work. You were warned. You lied to bend over. Your mom and Lay is suckling just like a child. Okay. You said what? Say it again. I said stick it in your mom. Okay. Stick it in your mom and suckling just like a child. I said stick it in your mom and suckling just like a child. Suck like a child? Suck like a child? Suck like a child? You really would say stick in your mouth and suck it like a child? From some, it was just a vulgar remark. For others and those with kids, it's a concern, a concern so much that someone looked in the history of Mr. Joseph and turned in the information to Chloe. No one knows who researched him, but it became a shockwave. Now everyone in the Kanika Jenkins community knows about Edward's past. Though he denied it, the damage is already done. But who gave Chloe this information? No one knows. For all we know, it could have been one of Edward's supporters. But that doesn't stop Edward from putting out his narrative. But in his eyes, he believes Chloe was the one who digged into his past. And for years, he did his best to get back at Chloe. And he almost did by learning about one of her daughter's traumatic experience. He hoped with this information, he would successfully break Chloe's spirit. Oh, he was successful. Successful at pissing off a Texan. And even those who dislikes Chloe had words with him, I don't blame them. Children's off limits. I don't care if you don't like the person. The beef is between you and the person you got a problem with. Bringing kids involved, especially what said kid went through, is a low blow. The Oliveira obsession continues. Edward made an alliance with his friend, a goddess, who also have a grudge against Chloe, along with Chloe's former friends. A woman who talks in third person, and a woman from the Bronx who has an obsession with bees. This was called Operation Takedown, and that is a story for another time. If you like what you saw, 
feel free to hit the like button and the bell to be alerted for more like this. This is Shadow signing off. Until next time. Where you at, random news? Oh man, looks like we've just been invaded by aliens again. <laughs> you, I'm gonna show you how random you is. You liver lip mouth ass bitch. Big grumpy head ass bastard. You over here coming at a fucking woman. And you supposed to be a whole nigga, you's a bitch.